back to my channel so for today's video i'm going to be doing true or false assumptions now i have written a list of i don't even know how many there are maybe like 20 assumptions down on this piece of paper that i'm going to be answering today and some of these you guys have asked and some of them i come up with myself so we can get a bit juicy you know some of these are a bit you know deep in a way but i like to make them juicy somehow i did actually have to write with a pencil because i couldn't find a pen so i had to write with pencil and it's not really neat but i'm only going to be using this for one video so it's absolutely fine anyway without further ado if you enjoyed this video please get a big thumbs up and other than that let's get started and first of all yes that is a fan in the background but it doesn't work and it is currently like 30 degrees outside. I'm using a ring light, so yeah, it is bloody boiling in here, I'm not gonna lie. But anyway, let's get started. Okay, so the first one is you're an introvert. Now, I'd say this is kind of true, um, because when I'm with my friends, babe, I'm an actual extrovert, like literally. And when I'm alone, I'm kind of an introvert. Like right now, I'm being an introvert. I say I could be both at like different times, so that answers that one. And then the next question is really accurate. Um, you've only had one dose of the COVID vaccine. This is true. So I tried to have my second one back in March because I had my first one back in November. And then because I had COVID in the last three months from March, I had it at the start of January. Um, and they said that I couldn't have it because it had only been two months since I had COVID and you have to give it a three month window since you've had COVID so I couldn't get my second dose of COVID vaccine. I haven't had it and March was literally like five months ago I was due to have it. Like obviously I want to protect my family and be safe from COVID and stuff and don't want to get it again because it was the worst time of my life. I literally felt so ill from it and another tip from covid is like sleeping it off i know this isn't like really related to this video but i'm just gonna talk to you guys from it the planes are so annoying bro i literally tried to sleep and there's a plane taking off over my house because i live right by heathrow airport when i'm at my dad's and it's just oh my god it's so noisy and it is actually so hot in my room because i have my windows open but since i have 30 degrees it's bringing the hot air so that's fun anyway uh, back to the covid one i've already had covid once and i don't want to get it again so i probably will get the second one at some point and the boosters you've thought about quitting youtube and honestly i could say this is true but when i took that massive break back in february march april time um i thought about quitting youtube then and like just doing like instagram and tiktok as like not my job because obviously i'm only 14 but like as my fun time i guess now i'm back posting twice a week i feel really motivated to film and edit for it and i don't think i'm going to be quitting anytime soon so you'll be sticking with me until probably a good few years now um so i hope you guys enjoy the future content you know um because i'm literally 15 next year obviously you'll be getting a what I want for my birthday, a vlog, and then what I got for my birthday for that, which will be up in February. I'm going to post, because I have to post on my birthday, so I'm going to post on, like, my birthday wish list on my birthday, because then that makes sense, because the birthday video is going to start there. And then I'm going to post my what I got for my birthday on the Friday. I don't know what date it is. And then on the Monday, I'm going to post a birthday week in my life, because my mum's birthday is actually in the same week as mine, so I think I'm going to film hers and mine, and I'm going to, like, combine them and then post it on the monday after my birthday because obviously i post every monday and friday it's not going to be my birthday vlogs next year you get three birthday videos how lucky are you guys and then at christmas i'm doing daily vlogmas so i'm going to be posting every monday and friday i'm going to be posting every day at 5 p.m in december which i'm so excited because i have to edit as i go in december which i do anyway for like my vlogs like my big vlogs like summer vlogs i literally edit them as i go so it's not going to be too difficult so the next thing is you seem like a nice person, but also a very quiet person. Babe, I'm the complete opposite of a quiet person. If you're in my class, I genuinely feel sorry for you. In September, I'm going to go back to school and try to be less annoying because I can be really annoying at times at school. And I kind of feel sorry for my people in my class. I am a nice person, though, if they're nice to me. I guess you'd say that is true and false because I am a nice person. That's a true bit. And then the quiet bit is the false part. So I could say it's a bit of both. You don't like pineapple and pizza. I hate to say it, but I don't like pizza, period. Like, I literally hate pizza. Apart from the Starbucks. You know the new Starbucks pizzas? I'll pop one on the screen here. I had one yesterday in Brent Cross, and it was the best pizza I think I've ever had. And then I also like pizza pilgrims as well. I had this, like, ham pizza in Canary Wharf, which was in my last video, so go watch that if you haven't already. Um, I had that, which I didn't vlog in Pizza Pilgrims, which I don't even know why I did. Apart from that, I really just don't like pizza. Like, I don't know what it is, but... 
like supermarket pizza just doesn't taste right. I don't know why. You only go to Liverpool to go to the shopping centre. <sighs> Kitty asked this on my Instagram story. I'd say this is kind of true. As you can see, my Liverpool bottle in the background. Yes, I support Liverpool. What about it? So does my dad. I mean, I'm kind of forced to support Liverpool in the sense that my dad does. But I'm not a football boy at all. I'm sort of like a skincare addict. Football's not really my thing and neither sports to be fair. Tip swimming. Don't mind swimming. It's really good, actually. You only hang out with younger years. I'd say this is kind of true. Like, I've met some of my best friends in the year below me, which is year nine in a way, because I'm going into year 10. That is actually scary. This time in two years, I'll be done with school. I've literally just realised that. What on earth? Oh my god. I'm excited for college vlogs, though, because I can literally make college vlogs. That'd be so fun. I'd say this is true. I'd say this is true because some of my friends I have in year nine, like, I have, like, well, going into year 10, I guess. But the year that I'm in now, I have, like, a couple of friends. Like, I would say, I mean, like, maybe three, which sounds bad. But um, friends are mostly year eights into year nines. So, yeah. It's weird, because do I call them year eights or do they call them year nines? Because I've just been into year nine, going into year ten, and I don't even know. So, even I get confused about it sometimes. You're secretly dating someone. No, I'm a single Pringle. That clears that one up. You secretly miss Starbucks American drinks this is true bro i went to starbucks and i found my new order it's a vanilla frappuccino with four pumps of raspberry you're welcome try it it is so good i don't want to spoil it but i might be going to chicago but i'm still going to check out my outfit maybe one day okay that's all i need to say i'm so excited i might be going i don't know it's like 50 50 my dad thinks so you're very insecure yes 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 i literally put myself down all the time and I don't know why, because I feel like I got confident because of my braces, I'm not going to lie. Because my teeth, I'm not even joking, I'll pop a picture on screen. Forbid! Oh my god, what is that? Yeah. Oh my god! What is that? They were horrific. Bearing in mind the picture I just put on the screen was from like 2020. My teeth were absolutely atrocious. I got hate from school, like, I got bullied for my teeth at school so uh these bad boys are definitely needed and then i went elastics as well i would have done a braces transformation and then i kind of forgot because you're not allowed to film the actual orthodontist which i completely understand normally people like do i got braces and like film do the orthodontist but obviously it literally says no photography or filming couldn't really do that i'm not gonna lie you can't wait to drive i can't wait to drive places and like do like drive with me and stuff oh my god that'll be so fun that'll be in a few years though because i'm only 40. i was literally talking about yesterday with my stepmom tanya that in four years i'm literally gonna be able to drive like that is bloody scary bro like i need how to do drive with me and like I'm going to be able to drive my dad around for once. Like, I'm literally being able to go to the McDonald's drive through and me being able to drive there and my dad being in the passenger seat. That's like, going to be so weird. And, like, I'm literally going to be able to drive places, bro. That's probably going to take a while to sink in. Yes, I am very excited to drive. I can't wait. You've never vaped or smoked. True. I don't get the point of underage vaping. Obviously, loads of people do it and loads of people underage smoke as well. Like, I don't get the point of it. It literally stinks. Obviously, some people do vaping for, like, because it tastes nice, but that's not the point. It's, like, damaging and stuff. Obviously, cigarettes have, like, more chemicals than vapes do. Yes, I have read this up on TikTok because it just comes up on my For You page, you know? You love buying things for the sake of it. True, bro. Oh, my God. My mum, literally, if I buy something, she literally, like, kills me for it. She's like, you don't need that. You have so many bloody shower gels. Even if I literally buy a bar of soap, she's like... Do you need that? No. This ride being in enjoyment for the I got in the Lake District. Didn't vlog that. I'm um, really annoyed at myself, Paul. What do I even put in? There. <laughs> Can you even see him? But yeah, I do love buying things for the sake of it and spending my money on things that I don't need. You hate your braces? Absolutely not. I love them. I don't want to get them off. I'm getting them, like, tightened on the 31st and I'm filming this on the 14th. So I'm getting them done in two weeks on wednesday obviously i can't vlog that which i wish i could obviously can't you know because i'm not allowed to film in the orthodontist you've stalked an ex no i haven't guys um i've only had i could say one ex or two i don't even know is that bad so i don't even know i've been single now for i'd say two years and a half they ask you how you are you just have to say
say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. So I'm not getting a partner anytime soon. You want social media to be your full time job. True. I met Kitty through social media, like my internet best friend. Um, I think me and her are meeting in October, which I'm so excited for. It's not been finalised yet, but we might be going to Milton Keynes one Saturday, which obviously I will vlog as well. So get excited for that. But it'll be in a couple months though, obviously. I'm really excited for that if we do end up meeting, which is only a maybe at the minute. You've cried this week. Bro, I've literally cried four days in a row i literally cried saturday sunday monday and then tuesday that's not really good is it i mean i haven't cried since tuesday which was literally five days ago we're winning at life guys you put a lot of pressure on yourself yes i do i'm like yes you do this i literally sometimes film a video in the morning before the video goes up well i used to do that in 2021 i used to literally film the morning the day the vlog was going up like i literally did that for the valentine's day card making last year which if you haven't watched then please go watch it it's the funniest video ever. that literally took me hours like i'm not even joking like, flipping hours to edit i've got three more assumptions to answer so the next one is you love buying clothes and this is definitely true i have so many clothes i'll literally show you guys my clothes look i have that rack and then I've got hoodies behind the ring light, which I'm not going to turn around because it's going to be a pain having to like end the clip and then start it again, if that makes sense. And then the second to last one is that you never hang your towel out after swimming or shower. And I guess this is kind of true. My towel's hung up right now, but no one just spring it across my bed, you know. And then the last one is that you hate showers and prefer baths. True. So that is the end of today's video. I really hope others have enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And let me know if you want to see more videos like this. I kind of want to do a video where I react to your guys' unpopular opinions. And then I also want to do one where I, like, respond to your icks again. But I did that last year and it was really fun. I also want to do another say or shot it with my mom. She doesn't really want to do it, but I'm going to convince her to do it. I need to get my mum back on this channel and do a sit-down video with her. Anyway, I really hope you have enjoyed. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And other than that, I'll see you guys very, very soon for a brand new video or vlog. Bye! <laughs>